Okay, so recently someone left a comment right here that said, when you go and do your panels, why don't you ever uh, include any of the stuff? And I was like, would you guys really want to, would you ever really want to hear that? Because I speak on panels all the time and it's very different from what I do on my YouTube channel. I get very business and very inspirational and motivational and strategic with stuff. So this video has quite a bit of uh, of that kind of stuff from what I did last night at a Golan influencer panel talking about creativity and being a YouTuber and working with brands. So hopefully this is interesting. Oh, also good morning, Burries. Good morning. Megan is about to speak at, um, I'm not even sure where we're at right now. This is Courtney, say hi Courtney. Hi. She doesn't like to be on camera, so I'm not gonna put her on camera too much. We're waiting for Megan to come out. She's gonna be sitting in the center, and we have all these people coming around with food, and I keep saying no, I feel so bad, because it looks so, it looks so good. Um, it's just called the Golden Digital Influencer Marketing Event. And uh, <laughs> right now, Courtney just fed me that line. Megan is an ambassador for Nintendo, and they wanted her to speak at this event, and she's so good at speaking, and I'm so excited to be here to watch her speak. I've been waiting to do this for like months now, because I've only got to see little clips on YouTube of her speak, and she's so good, and I keep getting the glare in the in the camera lens. You guys can see I'm so good at vlogging. Is it better from this angle? No. There's a ghost. There's a little old flying around the room. Look at all these cool people with cameras. What is going on right now? Look at all that food! What is that? Is that raw fish? I don't like raw fish! So graceful! Oh, wait, start over again. Alright, great! Swizzy, no. <laughs> come in! Come in! Come in! Come in! Hi guys! Come on in! Join us! Megan hosts and produces a variety of video formats on her YouTube channel, Strawberry17. Uploads day in the life videos on her second channel, Library, as well as gaming videos on her channel, Strawberry17 Plays. She also starred in the 22nd and 24th seasons of the hit CBS show, The Amazing Race, as the backstage correspondent for True TV's Fake Off, and as Rapunzel in the web series, Video Game High School. And our friends over at White Rabbit Japan hooked it up. You go onto our YouTube channel after yeah. this. <laughs> Trying to push views, you know? So obviously the first question is, uh, how did you decide what your username is? Because you all have very unique uh, usernames. Strawberry 17 comes from uh, Strawberry Shortcake, the cartoon. <sighs> really big on 80s cartoons. I'm cosplaying as Rainbow Bright this year. It's going to be fabulous. <laughs> but um, so, uh, and the 17th is my birthday, July 17th. And it was my very first internet screen name and the only one that I've ever had. Um, when I was trying to figure out what my name should be, my cousin's like, it's the internet, you can spell stuff wrong because Strawberry17 was taken. So I'm like, how do I spell this differently? I'm like, are you sure no one will make fun of me if I spell this wrong? And she's like, dude, it's fine. I'm soccer gal 87 and I only have one C. I'm like, all right, we're both <laughs> gonna look dumb together. So I did the U instead of the E and crazy, like 15 years later, it actually ended up being great for uh, branding and marketing. So, strawberry 17. My business cards are scented. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> <With me. laughs> being an influencer is being a trendsetter. With great power comes great responsibility, right? We're the, the mover and the shakers. We're the people that are looking at things differently and um, changing it up because marketing can't be done the way that it's always been done. Swizzy and I have been on the platform since the beginning, back when, you know, all the Dinosaurs brands. Yes, yeah, back when no one understood YouTube. And I was told it was a joke, and people were like, what, you make videos in your bedroom? That's weird, that's kind of like, <laughs> listen, don't tell people that, all right? <laughs> um, we're the ones who push ahead, like myself and all the people up here, we're not only looking at it in a how can I entertain you way, but as businessmen and women, and we're trying to shape the future with what we do and educate people. And, you know, make it a, a more attainable place for everyone. Early ages, I would, uh, early ages, like I'm a dinosaur, <laughs> I would act as my own manager and I would do, uh, uh, I would handle a lot of people's um, deals with brands. I would look over their contracts for them and help them figure out their rates and stuff like that. But brands would hire us and treat us as if we were a talent. 
like um, how they would treat any other celebrity. Like, you're a talent, you do this, you look pretty, you say the words that we need you to say, and then that's it. You do it how we want you to do, and you have nothing to say about it. Because we're hiring you, and we're paying you, so that means, you know, that's the deal. Um, but that does not work, ever. Like, if you're a brand and you're trying to um, hire a YouTuber, it definitely has to be collaborative. And I understand the pain that you guys have to go through, because every YouTuber is so different. Every manager is so different. But um, at least I can speak for myself and say when you're talking to me, I want to collaborate together because I don't want, uh, I don't just want to sell something. I want to work together and have our brands sell something. Um, I, that's more important because if we can create something and come together, that sells way more and that makes the brand look cool. That makes me look cool. It makes us look like we collaborated versus like I just signed a check and they made me do this, and I'm saying really uncomfortable wording. But you have to remember, it is a partnership. Uh, it's the most frustrating thing when I have a meeting where people are like, we want you to do the video exactly like this. And I'm like, listen, um, do you want me to sell it to my audience or yours? Because then have me on your channel. Have me be in a commercial. Don't have me represent your brand on my channel and us accomplish nothing, because that's ridiculous. You have to be able to trust me in what I'm doing, um, and and that's how we're really going to accomplish something together. So I know it's a little bit crazy because you have to let go of a little bit of control, but I mean, it, times are changing. You're working with professionals now. We're not just kids in a bedroom filming uh, lift up videos. We're businessmen and women that are ready to go to bat for your company. We don't want to play anymore. Um, at the time, you could do video responses, and I encourage my audience to you know share their story and make that pledge. Well, my video did so well because I was being so honest and vulnerable with my with my fan base that um, tons of video responses were coming in. Above the Influence loved it so much, they turned it into a national commercial using my fans' videos. And that was a huge campaign that got to run nationally and in schools. And that, that was just amazing because it was just a very small idea. But because they got the right person behind it, and because I was able to go there and be very authentic. And that's the end of the vlog. Bye. I've never met anyone who, well actually my mom and my brother David love sugar. Not like me though. My mom has diabetes and she gets like a venti frappuccino every day. She's in it. <laughs> I make sure to have candy every day. It's a part of his balanced John diet. <laughs>